Spock in this film um, is at a real crossroads in his life, and um, I think he's torn between his obligation to Starfleet and the Federation and, um, and his uh, commitment to helping rebuild the Vulcan race. Um, and uh, and I, I think he's, he's of two minds, as he often is. And, um, you know, he and Uhura have decided to uh, part ways at the beginning of this film, um, and largely due to his, his desire and his need to return and focus his energy on helping other Vulcans. Um, and, uh, and I think that, you know, a series of things happen both to him and to the crew uh, that help clarify um, the need for him to stay and, uh, and double down his commitment to Starfleet. Um, um, and also, I would say, uh, in terms of the makeup for the movie, um, I thought I had it bad, like the first two films. I was the one that had to come in really early and had to be in the makeup chair for so long. And, you know, people would say, oh, how long does it take to do your makeup? And I would say, anyway, you know, about three, three, three hours or so. And they'd go, oh my gosh, you know, I'd have to come in at, you know, four in the morning sometimes. Um, but on this film, uh, first of all, we've narrowed it down to about an hour and 45 minutes. We had a, a new makeup team on this movie, Joel Harlow and, um, and his team were incredible and really, uh, really talented. And we were able to, to cut about an hour off of the time that it takes to, uh, to get into makeup every day. Plus the fact that both Sofia Butella and Idris Elba had to be in makeup for five hours. Um, sometimes we would be at dinner and Sophia would have to leave to go to work for the next day because she had to get there so early. Um, so I realize now that I have absolutely nothing to complain about um, and uh, just just show up every day and uh, yeah, it all happens. 네, 그런데 세분 중에 이렇게 그 뾰족한 귀가 제일 어울리는 분은 우리 제커리 퀸토 씨가 제일 잘 어울린다라는 생각이 듭니다. 자. 마지막 질문 가도록 하겠습니다. 마지막 질문은 네, 가운데 